seem like I need more than just a trip just to get away And I ain't talking popping, snorting, rolling a getaway More like coastal touring Oh yes, yes, oh, another 2K man Oh the next chapter, that's right, next generation Williamson, all oh, the WNBA, I see it I see you AD boy, I see you dog Oh wait, I see you Oh my god, this is amazing uh, f Microsoft, whatever Okay, let's see what these pre-order packages got to offer. Let's see. Uh, wait, you still can't get anything for $65 in this game? 5K VC, really? And for $100, you get some shirts, some clothes, and some shoe collection. Wait, isn't this the same thing they do every year with the Legend Edition? I mean, come on, 2K at this point. Just giving the same type of shit over and over again for a hundred dollars, you're gonna have to give me a couple of these shirts in real life or something. Oh, 2K, you cheeky bastards. <laughs> Yo, I can't even take myself seriously. What's going on, people? I'm back. <laughs> Trolling 2K hard, man. You've been sub to this channel, you know exactly how I feel about 2K. I, I don't care for it. I hate it. 2k i hate everything about 2k you guys know this but nonetheless the reason for me making this particular video is uh it's another year that has gone by and here we are once again it is about that time we are a couple months away from another cycle of 2k and yeah seeing the slow media rollout for 2k i have been following a nice very interesting trend that's going on in the 2k community and um yeah people hate 2k i i'm not even gonna lie their own community cannot stand 2k i mean of course it's divided you have guys that still want to play 2k and they still actually think 2k is a decent game and you have guys on the other hand they hate the game but they play it because they need a basketball game to play but in fact and i can speak for this myself that guys have actually been coming from 2k and they're trying out nba live and a lot of guys they actually do enjoy playing nba live 19 i can imagine it's the same feeling that i had when i first picked up live 18 it was just a refreshing experience because i then like gave up 2k cold turkey after 2k 17 i was done i couldn't do it anymore and everything but it's just a sign that the super villain that is take two interactive that is 2k sports there's a chip in their armor these days because people are just fed up with 2k i mean there are plenty of videos on youtube about guys saying boycott 2k 20 because after like 2k 17 i honestly didn't think that 2k could get any worse but apparently it has like from 18 19 it's just been god awful and i'm going to be very honest with you that i actually went back to 2k not too long ago like a few months ago i actually tried to play 2k 19 guys i know i know right that's crazy like <laughs> what you back on 2k yeah but see the thing is when i got back on 2k it was for some solid reasons one my friends mainly they were still playing 2k and they were uh doing fantasy drafts and stuff on that uh playing in my league so i was like shoot i remember doing that on 360 let me get on top of that but also it's the fact that the game was like literally bargain bin price i got the game on microsoft store for like 19.99 you know 20 bucks basically so yeah i was like shoot i'm not about to pay for a full price so what am i got what i got to lose i mean and i'm sick and tired of nba live randoms i mean they just make everything like everything god awful pretty much like for me so yeah i was like yeah let me go ahead and do that and you know i got on 2k and i'm on it and i mean nothing has changed as whatsoever because as soon as i went into the neighborhood i'm about to say my part but as soon as i went into the neighborhood because i'm a my player guy i am a my career 
forgot. I, it's been like that since 2K10, since they incorporated the game mode. But, man, nothing has changed, man, because as soon as you get into this game, it is paid to play. It is still terrible, you know? Like, you literally have to put in 50 to, like, $60 worth of real-world currency for VC just to get your guy up to a soft cap 85 overall, you know? That's just so your guy can at least not suck on the court, right? So, then not to mention, dude, what the fuck What the fuck is going on with 2K and these, like, VC prices for clothes and stuff? Because, oh, I, did, I have never seen VC prices be so high for shoes and clothes and just, like, accessories. And, I mean, and that's one thing I can say. The accessories are affordable. Some of them. But... I mean, the clothes just, it's like walking into a Gucci store or something, you know? It's like, dude, it's like 12,000 VC for a pair of shoes, 8,000 to like 10,000 VC for one pair of shoes. I kid you not, man. I mean, that Foot Locker store is some damn extortion or something. That is ridiculous, dude, because you have a lot of marquee shoes. It's like all the name brand stuff. It's just ridiculously high for no reason. You know, you can easily just to get some some clothes. If you want your guy to have a little bit of drip, a little bit of sauce, you want him to not look like the kid that come to school with like Costco clothing because his parents doesn't believe in buying name brand clothes. You don't want to be that guy in the neighborhood. You just look like a sore thumb sticking out, you know, with your brown shirt. So you could easily spend 30,000 VC easy on just clothes and shoes alone i kid you not then on top of that i mean what's up with the tattoos tattoos is even expensive Five thousand vc for some tats man for some freaking arm sleeves you know you could spend fifteen thousand vc twenty thousand vc easy just to tat your whole body up you know it's it's just i just don't understand it, like 2k how do they get away with this shit like it's the same thing every single year it's literally pay to play you can't pay i mean play excuse me but you can't play the most played game mode in the entire game without putting money into it you like you literally can't even play my career if you even if you're just a my career player right you cannot even play my career without spending money to play my career because you can't grind to get your player do you know how long you know how much play time you need to just grind your way just to an 80 overall just an 80 overall dude it would take you at least a month three weeks to a month just to get up that high and that's just based off of somebody who doesn't have all the time in the world to just sit there and grind away mindlessly and you're just going to suck like anyway because your overall is so low you can't play on the highest difficulty to get the most vc it's like what you know it's, i don't understand it man take two 2k sports they get away with this shit every year like every year you know they are the super villain that just can't be touched because people bitch at ea even though ea literally asked for it i mean like coming out and saying they don't even know oh i can't believe we're the bad guy of course you're the fucking bad guy ea and then activision they just silently just screwing people with call of duty games so it's like but 2k is like there's no huge outrage over 2k i mean it's like in bits and pieces but it's like 2k just quietly just gets to finesse people a lot of money and nobody has anything to say about it it's, it's just beyond me and dude I, I just i don't know where everything just went wrong with this game and then as i am on 2k19 and i'm playing it and it's like the gameplay is just it's nice to know nothing has freaking changed in this game because it's still all about exploits it's not even it's no skill involved in playing 2k all you got to do is just do exploits and you're good you're golden i mean literally <laughs> nothing has changed 
like nothing has changed since 2k17 people still just it's just all about the cheesiest exploits you can think of on this damn game and people running around claiming they're so good but all they do is just fucking do the, the the cheesy shit just so they can score and play like nobody plays real defense still it's still just spam city i'm surprised anybody has a fucking x button left on their damn controller on that game because it's just just reach 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 i'm gonna reach you to fucking death and i'm gonna act like i'm clamping you up like what no you're not clamping me dude you're spamming me to death you know that's not defense you know and then of course my this new favorite thing i love yeah i love this yeah <laughs> where literally because everybody knows they stopped players from doing this since like 2k14 like well after 2k14 and 2k15 where players can't move off of the checkup you can't move off the checkup so basically you're stuck you're stuck taking the ball out and your opponent who's guarding you your matchup is stuck too so you both are just stuck at the top of the key and then these fools all they do is just literally run around that back and forth it's like a fake it's a misdirection they literally fake you one way and then run back the other way and use your teammate and their teammate as a fucking just manufactured pick so you can get stuck and they get a wide open shot because the motion system and the movement on 2k is just so trash on defense like it's just that's how bad it is because people can literally hit you with fakes and just like be wide the hell open and god forbid if their teammate slides over and sets a pick for them then you just really just fucked at that point like it's just i don't even know man if i had to make a video based on 2k's gameplay i would i would need a separate video because that would be like easily a 25 minute video because the gameplay is still ass you know anybody with playmaker in their fucking archetype yeah your ankles is just you can't guard them all they do is just spamming dribbles all over the damn place it's just it's shitty man that's all i gotta say you know i mean everybody like still uses the same type of jump shots you know it's like everybody is just stuck using the same type of shit <laughs> it's whatever man you know but all in all i just don't fuck with 2k as whatsoever a lot of people are just tired of it um we're still waiting like me i'm still waiting on nba live news i mean i really thought i'd be talking about nba live at this point but we're still waiting to hear official news about something so i was bored so i felt like talking shit about 2k but anyway if you guys like this content hit that like button thank you for stopping by if you're new around here hit that subscribe button that'll help me out a lot i really appreciate it and until next time i'm out